First I'm going to take NYX's eyeshadow base and this is the beige one, it's ESB03. It's the closest to my skin color so that's why I like it. Spread it all over the eye. A little bit underneath. I'm going to be taking my Naked palette and the color I'm going to be using is Half Baked. This one right here. Just going to put that, press that on right on the lid. Once you're done, take a fluffy brush. I'm going to be using Max 224 and just blend that out. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Buck. This one right here. With my MAC 224 as well, I'm going to go take that, some product, and just put it in my crease. Now, I'm going to be taking Smog, Smog, which is this one right here with my middle finger, and then I'm going to be mixing it with Dark Horse, which is this one with my index finger. Now, what I'm going to be doing is using my angled brush. This is Max. 266 and I'm going to be lining my lashes with this. I don't want to use liner because liner is really blunt so I just want to soften it up a little bit and just use um, some eyeshadow. So all you want to do is just like you're putting eyeliner just follow it with some eyeshadow. A pencil brush. This is Sigma's E30 and you're going to take the same colors, dark horse and smog, and now we're going to define the eye just a little bit more. So what you're going to do is, from the lashes, you're going to go up into the inner corners and make a V on the outside. I'm sorry, not the inner corners, the outer corner. You're just doing a V. We're darkening it up just to define the eye a little bit more. That's all we're pretty much doing. We're trying not to make it too smoky because that's not what we're really going for. We're just trying to make the eye more defined. Once you're done with that, go back with your fluffy brush and blend that out. Now for my highlight right underneath the bra bone, I'm going to be using NYX's Nude nude color it's just matte um, I'm pers I love this color as a highlight because it doesn't give me much color it just kind of blends out um, the harshness that I have from um, the other eyeshadows so I'm going to go in just with a flat brush flat shader brush this is a large shader brush E60 uh, from Sigma go in and just follow your bra bone and then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's just a white big eye pencil. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my Stila brush in number 28. It has a smudger on one side and then a liner on the other. I'm going to take the liner portion of it and just put some product on it. And I'm going to water my waterline with white pencil. And I'm going to go in with Dark Horse using my smudger brush, which is the, the other side of my Stila brush, number 28. And just follow it. Follow the color really close to the lash line. Now I'm going to be taking Half Baked and then I'm also going to be mixing it with a little bit of Sidecar. So these two right here. And I'm going to be using it in uh, my inner uh, tear duct area as a highlight.
now that you're done with your eyeshadow, you want to go in with a good pair of lashes. You don't want to do uh, a full lash because that's a little too dramatic for the eye. You want to do kind of a wispy lash. The ones that I got are these, and I got these from Sephora. And the reason I like these is because they're really subtle. And then they have like these wispies right here in the end that really are going to make the eye pop. So, they're very subtle lashes, but they make a good thing. Now I'm going to go back in with an angled brush, my MAC 266, and I'm going to go and get some dark horse and smog, and then also some creep. And I'm going to be using that as my liner. So, once I mix all of these, I'm going to go back on my lash line and I'm going to cover the lash band that um, from the lashes that we just put on. I'm going to be taking Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal. Love this mascara. It's awesome. And I'm going to be doing is blending my lashes with the falsies. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC35, and I'm going to be using my stippling brush from Sigma. This is the Dual Fiber in F50. Now, what I'm going to do is just pump some on my finger, and I'm going to dot this all over my face. Now, I'm going to take my Dual Fiber brush and just start blending that foundation in. Once you're done putting on your foundation, you're going to go in with a um, concealer. I'm going to be using Studio Finish Concealer in NW25. This is a lighter shade than I am. It's actually a couple of shades lighter than I am, and it has more of a pinky tone. But the reason why I'm using this is because I'm using it more as a highlight than anything else. I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes, bridge in my nose, um, my cupid's bow, and so forth and so on. Take your fingers and blend away. Now I'm going to go in with a powder to set everything to make sure nothing moves and everything stays in place. And I'm going to be using Max Select Sheer in uh, the pressed powder form. And this is NC35. I'm going to go in with a big dome brush. This is Sigma's large powder brush in F30. Just covering the brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to be dusting it on. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'm going to be using Max Blunt, and I'm going to be using a angled blush brush. This is Max uh, 168. And what I'm going to be doing is just putting a little bit, and I'm going to start building um, the product onto the hollows of my cheek. I'm going to put it on the sides of my temple and bring it onto the hairline as well. Now I'm going to go in with a blush brush, and I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I'm going to be using Max Blush Baby. And what I like about this color, it's a sheer tone, so you can build it and build it and make it a lot darker if you want to. But I'm just going to add a little bit. It's a very soft, pinky color. And then I'm just going to um, add a little bit, just for a little bit of color in the apples of my cheek. I'm going to be using this blush brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to be taking just a little bit of the soft and gentle. And going in, in the areas that I went in with the concealer, I'm going to go in with the highlight. So I'm going to go right underneath the eye, right on top of that cheekbone. I'm going to be bringing it down the bridge of my nose. A little bit on the forehead, just a tad. Now with your finger, you can go and just put some on your cupid's bow. I'm going to be going in with NYX's Pale Pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
It's a very nude pink lip liner. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm going to go in with Lady Gaga's Viva Glam. This is Gaga 2. Now I want to put a touch of lip gloss on my lips. I don't want to add too much color to my lips. I just want to add a little bit of shine. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, MAC's Delicate Crush. This is a lip gloss. It's a very pinky color. A lot of you may think that it's going to come out really, really pink, but it's not. I'm just going to dab it on. So this is the, the finished look. I put my um, hair down from the little pin curls that I had and I tried to do the little S curl but it's dying out on me a little bit. And yeah, and this is pretty much my finished red carpet look. I hope you guys like it. Um, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks for everything guys. Bye.